Works 2017 comes with a bunch of UI enhancements, which are some really great features. Take, for example, configurations. So in configurations in the past, we really didn't have any way of sorting them. Whereas now, when I go to the configuration tree and I right click at the top level, I can go in and I can change the order. So I can go by history, I can go numeric. So when I pick numeric, it'll sort it either numerically or alphabetically, depending on what's in there. Or if I want to go with numeric, or sorry, alphabetic, I can go into my tree order and pick literal. Or I can do a manual, and now I have the ability to drag and drop and reorder my configurations. So great enhancements there. When I'm working with particular parts, let's open this part. And let's say I go to do something like a fillet. So I'm going to apply a fillet. Notice in the feature tree here, that I'm able to show the selection toolbars or not. So if I come in here and pick something, notice how the selection toolbar is present and notice the X at the end. So I can either click the X to close it or I can say, you know what, don't show that to me because it, you know, it gets in the way or I never use it. So I now have the ability to turn that off or, or turn on. The dynamic reference visualization has been enhanced so that when I pick on something, notice how it's more linear as opposed to curved so it's a lot cleaner now. We're able to see um, exactly how these things are, are integrated, inter interact and interacting. And when you right click, remember that you can always change. Do you want to see to the parent or from the parent? So if I don't want to see the children ones, so notice that when I pick on this, then I'm only getting a very simple view of, you know, in one direction. So in that direction is what it's what it's showing me. So great cleanup in that area. It's personally my favorite enhancement in the visualization area. Comments have been expanded greatly. So you can really apply comments really in any area. So I'm going to zoom in. Let's just rotate this around a little bit. Let's zoom in. And I'm gonna take this fillet and I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna add a comment. So I'm gonna add a comment and say, okay, these are the inner fillets. And notice now that we can actually insert a screenshot. So it's going to take exactly how I'm looking at it and insert in there. So I'm gonna click save and close and apply that comment. Now all comments still appear at the top here. We can also now right click in here and we can actually add a standalone comment. So I can say, you know, great to have standalone comments. So it's not associated with any particular um, feature, but it gives us that ability to add that. Now, comments can be somewhat difficult to locate sometimes because you always have to come into the, into the comment folder. So because of that, if I right click at the very top level and I go into my tree display options, notice at the bottom I can show the comment indicator. So now I can see that there's a comment on here as I hold my cursor over it. I get a preview of what that comment actually is. So a great way to be able to kind of quickly determine, oh, there's a comment there. Let me go see what's on there without having to go into the comment folder. So great um, way method there. When I pick on something now and within the breadcrumbs, we're actually gonna get a, a lot cleaner information when it comes to mates and the reference plans. So here I'm in a part file, so notice that I'm able to view those quickly and actually select them right from the breadcrumbs. So I can actually pre-select them from here if I'm gonna go and create a sketch or add a new feature. And if I right click, I'm now right clicking on that particular feature. So if I wanna turn the visibility of that feature on, I can quickly do that. So in the areas of mates and um, reference planes, great way to have that integrated in there. Okay, well, now that I've got that selected, let's actually um, add a sketch to that plane. And in the areas of the shortcut menus, they've really put a lot of effort into standardizing them and kind of making them more efficient. And I think the best example of that is the sketch entities panel. So you can see that this flyout is extremely cleaned up. Um, it actually fits here in a nice compact area. So that long sketch entity flyout is gone, yet all the tools are still here. So you can see that in this kind of grid style, everything's there. So what they've done is if they standardize, you know, remove duplicates, um, 
just made it easier to be able to scroll through the menu. So a lot of great features there. So those are some of my favorite enhancements when it comes to the user interface within SOLIDWORKS 2017.